Hi, welcome back to our channel. My name is Jory and this is Little Moon, Little Lilac Moon. Hi, baby. There she is. So she's going to join us today. She's checking out what's on her chair. I think it's a little stuffed animal. So anyway, we're going to be reading from each day in the beginning. It's our new series of readings. Um, in addition to all the other ones we have here on the channel. So just check those out if you want to go to the main page and um, see what else we have. So there's included as like Course in Miracles and um, Courage to Change and a few other books, as well as um, some astrology and tarot. So uh, without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and get started with the reading. It's a daily reflection, January 29th. Uh, the quote starts, uh, I can't help it. It's what we all say. And we don't want to exert ourselves. I can't help it. That's a quote from Ava Lathbury. Irresponsible behavior is not unfamiliar to us. Passivity is equally familiar. In the past, excusing ourselves of all responsibility prevented us from being blamed. We have learned that it has also prevented us from feeling worthy or from fulfilling our potential, from feeling the excitement that comes from achievement and with achievement. So our fear of failure helped us to be irresponsible. We may still fear that failure, but the program, the 12 step program offers us an antidote. We can't fail if we have turned our lives over to a higher power and we will be shown the way to proceed. Our fellow travelers have messages for us and that will smooth our path. With their stories of experience, strength, and hope. So I have chosen recovery awareness of myself and I have already said I can help it I will help it I will celebrate that I am taking responsibility for my life I can celebrate because irresponsible behavior is not an option but I can see it if it starts to well up again, and I can take a moment and pause and say, what is my part in this? You know, I'm responsible for my, my actions. I'm responsible for my perceptions. And I'm responsible for my effect on other people. So how do I, what do I do? I'm just always um, praying <laughs> in the beginning of the day and at the end of the day. In the beginning of the day, I pray to my higher power to connect with me and work through me for the highest good of all those that I'm and with and responsible for um, in my family. And um, yeah, and so that goes up and down. The card I pulled today from the tarot is uh, the wheel. So as life is good, then it's there's also the highs and lows of it. Life on life's terms. The good, the low, the bad. The high, you know, like it just goes up and down, up and down. And how can I handle that each day? It's just one day at a time and the best I can. So um, knowing that I am powerless over many things that are outside of my, me, you know, so, but what can I do? I can be open to consider other people's um, outlooks doesn't mean that I'm going to take them or um, 
change my mind so that I get along. It's more about accepting people for who they are because I can accept myself as well. So it starts with that for me today. And um, so I'll go ahead and end with that. And um, I'm really grateful that um, you're here with me reading. I read every day, God willing. Um, there's also like, there are 365 days. Um, if you want to just go ahead in the main page, like I said, and you just click in a date that you're looking for, and there will be readings because I've, I've done that for myself and first and foremost, so that I can show that I'm showing up and being responsible because that's what I said I wanted to do. And um, I, you know, my higher power is working, working that with me. I couldn't do it without my higher power. That's for sure. God and uh, the universe. <laughs> so um, yeah, I, I do have fear of failure and I have. Um, and that has helped me to be irresponsible. You know, like, why would I try if I can't do it perfect um, as an excuse? So now as I still uh, fear, I may still fear failure, but with working in recovery and with other people and reading and doing the step work, that offers the antidote, the antidote for me, for that sickness of the soul that I've had and I still work with daily. So anyway, I'll go ahead and um, say the serenity prayer. I'd like for you to join me if you know it. Um, if not, you just be still here with us and take a nice deep breath in and out so that you um, can be present and um, God, grant us the serenity to accept the things that we can't change, the people, the places, things outside of us, to have the courage to change the things we can, ourselves, our attitudes, our perceptions, and the wisdom to know the difference. So God's will, not ours, be done. So keep coming back. It works if you work it because you're worth it and you're loved. I love you. And the universe has your back, All right? So I'm willing, I'll see you tomorrow reading this again. And um, that's it. Much love. Bye, you guys.